Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to add a network power meter to the uh, data logger inside Johnson Controls Metasys Extended Architecture. Here we see the meter itself. We, you know, we're getting a totalization and uh, quite a bit of information out of this meter. And what we want to do is to add a data logger where we can uh, actually keep a keep track on the amount of uh, kilowatts used by this particular area. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to Insert Object, and we're going to select a DDLR. That is your data logger. And of course, we're going to put this in the energy folder for this particular device. And we are going to just give it a name for just a common name that we're going to be using for this particular data logger. And this area here, this configuration screen, what we want to do is to grab the uh, meter as far as its uh, instantaneous demand so we press the gray box and it opens the uh, network trunk and we drill down into our network trunk and find the meter and then once we find the meter we drop that down and we grab the instantaneous power you know what the meter is actually drawing and we will add that to our network or to our uh, data logger and we're going to leave all of this information as a default. So we're hitting next and then hit finish. And we can add trends and that sort of thing, which we're not going to do in this particular view. And once we have that set up, uh, we can drop it down here. And here is that uh, data logger. Here is the profile screen since we just set it up. We do not have any data recorded uh, but once the uh, you know the system runs for a while it will start recording data and you can use this for billing for uh, various departments for tracking your electrical usage now here we are uh, you know the next day we are going to actually look at the amount of information that our data logger has uh, tracked you can see here the total energy demand since we set this up. Uh, we're going to actually do a little comparison between what the uh, data logger is showing as far as the actual usage and then what our meter is showing. You can see here the uh, what the peak demand is for this particular meter and you know that coincides very closely to what we're actually seeing from the meter itself you know we see this point here we see that uh, it is very close to what the uh, meter is uh, actually showing these objects are a very useful tool in tracking your energy consumption uh, within your uh, system at the beginning of each month of course you can configure it in various ways but it's common to have them uh, to track to roll over data uh, and actually show you the previous month's consumption as well as the current month consumption up to the point at which uh, you're at anyways guys i hope this information is helpful if it is, I would appreciate it if you would uh, drop me a comment down below. And also, if you have any questions, leave those down below as well. And uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video.